So the parts that you should have with your NCR is a very small USB keyboard that looks like this. You should have your basic NCR printer. You should have your cash drawer. A printer cable that goes into your cash drawer. And another printer cable that goes into the computer. You should also have a standard USB mouse. A network cable. And your NCR system. Okay. First of all, this is what the bottom of your NCR should look like. You don't want to plug in your power right away because they do not have power switches, so it'll turn on automatically, which we don't want to do right now. You want to start off by plugging in your network cable right here. Then you want to plug, on, plug in your mouse and keyboard, which are two USB ports, into the two USB ports right next to the network cable. Then we want to plug in our printer, which is a standard serial cable, into COM1. Now over here you can see both of your COM ports. You have to the left you have the COM1 and to the right you have COM2. In between bo both of those you have your PS2 port, which, will be not, which we won't be using for this video. So you want to plug your printer into COM1. So here you can see the back of your printer. You want to start off by plugging in the cable that goes to your cash drawer, which goes right to the right of the back of it. Then you want to plug in the serial cable, which goes into your NCR to this. Then you want to plug in your power. As you can see on the back of your cash drawer, there is a plug, there's a port to plug in your cable that goes from the cash drawer to the printer. And it's as simple as this. Now you want to plug in your printer and your NCR to turn them on. As you see, you do not have to press any switch for your NCR to turn on or your printer. There should be a light on your printer that flashes. And now you just have to wait for your NCR to finish uh, starting up.